fix, fix. Because. Alright, but enough about that. Let's play StarCraft. Ladies and gentlemen, down here on the south side, the blue Protoss. He is Hooligan. And on the north side, the red Terran, she is my darling. But a surprising play coming out from both players last game. Uh, Uligan keeping it much closer than people would have expected. I did not expect a 25, 22 minute game out of that. And neither did Atlas. I don't think anybody did. But let's see how I dark... still don't understand the one base Colossus that never was. <laughs> the Colossus that never was. Uh, what what is that book from? What what is, that that sounds like the name of a book. The the something that never was. There's a song called "The Day That Never Comes." The day that never comes. Or how how about how about the uh, the all in that never. That never was. Yeah, that sounds good. It's the all in that never was. I, I got nothing past that. Atlas bringing his new Finnish music and music styling. And it looks like Darling going to opt for a standard barracks then gas instead of a gas first. Crazy. Widow mine Hellion drop thing about her. And the assimilated cubes of Vespine gas are currently being manifested. I never noticed that the, the actual animation for the assimilator. That's actually pretty awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up with the eBay? Oh, this could be interesting. What are you doing? Alright, let's think she of what... Scout at anything. What comes out of an eBay? Turrets, marines... Planetary fortresses. Planetary fortresses. I doubt it's going to be Planetary Fortress. Does she... Oh my god. Do a PF rush. Does she think Hooligan's going to go for Proxy Oracle? No. I mean, she's hunting down this probe. Is she going to... I don't know. Is she going to, like, bunker and then turret up the natural? Try and... Huh. I don't know. I mean, it could be for a stupidly fast plus one. No, she. Uh, heavy range probably thought he was gonna go proxy oracle or something. I mean, proxy oracle's good on heavy range. What? Uh, oh, she's planetary fortress rushing. Oh my god. That is so cheeky. Oh my god, be right back. No. I, 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 I need to tell my friends to watch this. Oh, this is so awesome. People, tell your friends we're seeing a planetary fortress rush. It's Carbot Season 3, Episode 3, people! Oh, is that episode two? I forget. No, I think it was three. Meanwhile, Twilight Council coming down from Hooligan. I think he's going to go into DTs here. Are we really going to see a planetary force fortress rush here? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I, I, I don't know. I just want to sit back and watch this. This I've never seen. I've never seen this live. I've seen this happen. I've never seen I've, this I've, live. I've never seen it in, like, in a 1v1 live. Yeah. We're, we're going to see uh, DTs, by the way. Uh, eventually, once the... Uh, once or the a gets delayed blink. I, I don't think it's blink. Um, might be, yeah. Heavy Rain's a good map for it. Okay, here in lies the Catch-22 with Planetary Fortress. The Mothership Core and Planetary Nexus beat a Planetary Fortress. And it is Blink. Okay, so good map for Blink. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh, she's bringing an SCB. Yeah, she's bringing everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, this is so, what this is, is this? Oh, and she, she's loading up SCVs too. That's right, Command Centers oh can actually load up god. SCVs. This is so, this is so stupid, I want it to work. Like, would you call this BM or trolling? I would call this, this hilariously awesome. Yes. Oh my god, and, here it comes. Uh, the Marine's not following the SCVs here. And you know what? With five stalkers, this uh, this planetary fortress—I don't know about this. I'm uh, I'm I'm a little skeptical. Fortress goes down. SCVs get unloaded and hit the P button. The button has been pushed. It's on. And this is what I was talking about: planetary fortress versus. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna get up, Atlas. No. It was a valiant effort, but unfortunately. Oh my God! She just threw the game right now. I think. And she has eight workers. Yeah, this I get. Pretty much a throw. <laughs> I no. This is pretty much awesome. This is pretty much. I'm confident myself that I can beat you in game three. Can you imagine if my darling loses now? I I will quit on air. <laughs> I'm just like nothing makes sense anymore. She's bunkering up hard. Blink is just but about to you? finish. Yeah, I would. I mean, that that's the problem. A couple of... Before Heart of the Swarm, I could see that totally working. The problem is Mothership Core Photon Overcharge. I mean, on top of the four stalkers that were already being made. At a time. Uh, this is, this is tricky. This is going to be tough. No stim. Combat shield on the way and Marauders being made two at a time. Can Darling actually hold this? Like, I, I'm, I'm just saying, can she like hold this with 11 workers to 24? If she micros it correctly, she can. Her conch shell's almost done, but eh, she can't really pull SCVs. Yeah, she oh my... is. Oh you my god! Wait, 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 wait! She's she's gonna get another ship core. Oh god! The mother ship core goes down, and that. All means... right, so no more blinking onto the high ground. Okay, you know what? That was a really good trade then. That was a really good trade. Uh, pulled the mule. I'm not certain about that. Never really want to pull mules. Uh, another mothership core on the way, but that's going to take forever and a day to get over there. And you know, you know what the most frustrating part of a blink all in atlas that your opponent can go between between your natural and your main. You know the best way to solve that? Not having a natural. That works. Not having a natural. That's the easiest way to sell. Sensor tower on the way, by the way. Bronze League Tactics. And no blink up possible because no Mothership Core. And a couple of Zealots and a Sentry. I don't know what, what, what's up with that. I think my darling is so starved for minerals because of that PF rush. Oh, she is completely... She's starved for everything right now. She's got what she's got for the longest of times here. Picking off that supply depot was extremely well played right there. Here comes the mothership core. Yeah, one more blink coming up. And there's one empty bunker. Yeah, one empty bunker, but that can be filled really quickly. Remember, Darling does have a sensor tower, so she knows exactly what's going on at all times. Making one more bunker a little closer to the mineral line. Meanwhile, Hoogan going for a nexus behind this and by the way that ramp is open so this could just stop being a blink all in and go for a standard like four or five gate all in no more bunkers SCVs don't get there in time the second bunker gets filled up can darling hold I don't know this is really really tough no oh. she's she didn't even repair the bunker. She yeah, SCVs stop repairing the bunker once it's GG. It's it's weird. SCVs stop repairing the bunker once it's at full health. They don't keep repairing it, which is aggravating as all hell. I think Hooligan's eating grew three sizes this day. 